Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a, a video about the April 2018 update. And you're wondering, why are you going back into such an old version? Well, because today is the last day of support for the version 1803. So this was, at some point, one of the most popular versions of Windows 10 that was being used, and of course it uh, lost a lot of users to the May 2019 update. But what happens is that uh, Windows versions have typically an 18-month cycle, and that 18-month cycle means that today, the Patch Tuesday updates are the last one you're getting for that version, 1803. So what does that mean and what could you do? Well, that means that if you haven't updated yet to the latest version that is offered to you because you're afraid, it's time to do it. You really have to do it because you won't get any security updates from now on. That means your Windows 10 version is going to have security problems. Today, you're still fine. For the next few weeks, you'll be okay. But you have to move on, and that is that. So that means that for most of you, it's offering you probably the May 2019 update. So you should move on to that version. Go check your Windows updates and click the download and install and do it. Now, some of you will be in this probably disposition of having nothing shown up. You go to Windows updates, it doesn't offer you anything. And you're thinking, well, I'm on the April 2018 update and it doesn't give me any update. What should I do? Well, for the most part, when updates don't show up, that means there's something incompatible. It could be your antivirus. If you use a third-party antivirus, uninstall it and check Windows updates. If it tells you, oh, you got a new version of Windows available, that was blocking you. Make sure your driver's up to date. All the drivers of your different devices, maybe a driver is blocking the update. Um, uninstall anything you don't use. Look at the software you have. Make sure that, you know, try to Google, see if they're compatible with the latest versions of Windows. Often it's not a lot. It rarely is, especially for the April 2018 update, it rarely is that your computer is not compatible. It mostly is that there's something that's just preventing it from actually finding a new version. If you don't find anything that can help you out, well, what I suggest is that you force upgrade. I often tell you not to force upgrade to anything um, because, you know, wait for it to arrive. But if you're in a small percentage, because there's not a lot of you, but there are some of you out there, small percentage that don't see any update, well, go to the Windows page and download the media creation tool or click that update button and force update your machine and uh, just do it. That's it. That will probably, in most cases, work fine and have absolutely no problem. And, you know, if you're to upgrade, why not upgrade and upgrade to everything? I mean, upgrade even to the, May, to the November 2019 update. That means that you'll be okay to, uh, in the November 2019, your not update, you'll be okay for 18 months. So you'll not have to think of any upgrade of Windows 10 until 2021, which I think is a good idea and a good deal. If you do stay at the May 2019 update, well, you'll have an option to upgrade next year, about a year from now. So uh, check it out. Uh, the link to the page where you can actually upgrade to the latest version available of Windows 10 is in the description below the video. You can just click there. You can uh, do a clean install, use a media creation tool, create a DVD or USB thumb drive, or just click that update button and upgrade to the latest version. Uh, but if you're on the April 2018 update and you have absolute, absolutely no clue why you're not moving ahead, it's time to force upgrade because today is the end of support. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.